Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, January 26, 2021. And we begin with the long arm of the law stretching all the way to the moon. There's now a new rule on the books in the U.S. that protects a number of items on the lunar surface, including American landing sites, old spacecraft, and even Neil Armstrong's footprint. It seems weird that such legislation is necessary, but according to an article by Michelle Hanlon, a professor of air and space law at the University of Mississippi, the moon will soon be getting crowded. In addition to the U.S., China, India, South Korea, and Japan are all building lunar landers and probes with plans to head there in the next year or so. The One Small Step to Protect Human Heritage in Space Act is the first law from any nation that recognizes a non-Earth location as having universal value to humanity. Will other countries recognize it, and how will it be enforced? So far, nobody really knows. No, you can't cut in line. A top military commander in Spain found that out the hard way when he and other high-ranking officers jumped the queue to receive a COVID shot. Like with many other countries, Spain is reserving its first round for medical workers and nursing home residents, and when word leaked, the commander was forced to resign. The impatience comes as coronavirus cases continue to outstrip the supply of vaccines. The number of estimated infections just in the U.S. has now topped 25 million. And to show how rapidly it's spreading, according to data from Reuters, it took six and a half months for the first 5 million cases to occur, but just 24 days for the latest 5 million. There is some encouraging news. California just rolled back some of its stay-at-home restrictions, and New York might follow suit. Back to school or not, the city of Chicago has the third largest school district in the U.S., and their teachers' union has voted to remain remote for now due to concerns about COVID. K-8 through educators were supposed to report to their classrooms yesterday to prepare for a February 1st reopening. This was to be the second wave of Chicago Public Schools' plan to resume in-person teaching for some of the district's 20,000 students. The first wave for preschool and special education students kicked in two weeks ago, but only about 20% of those kids reported to school. The city's mayor says they are still negotiating with teachers and is hoping an agreement will be reached soon. Dogs are known for their loyalty, but one pooch took it to a whole new level, waiting outside of a hospital in Turkey for six days until her owner was discharged. When the elderly man fell ill earlier this month, his dog, Boncook, chased the ambulance all the way to the hospital's entrance, then made it clear she wasn't going anywhere. Multiple times, family members brought her back to the apartment, only to have the cunning canine escape again. A security guard says she'd arrive around 9 a.m. and watch the doors till nightfall. The staff took a liking to her, made regular visits to pet her, and made sure she got fed. It was a happy day for all when the man got released. Video shows Bon Cook jumping on his wheelchair and even pulling on the footrest to get it moving in the direction of home. How'd you like to have a meal prepared by a robot? That will soon be an option at a mall in Naperville, Illinois. Nala Robotics is behind the Artificial Intelligence Kitchen, and officials say it will be run by a robotic arm that will create all kinds of dishes using recipes from celebrated chefs around the world. The cuisine options will run the gamut from Italian, Thai, Mexican, Chinese, Indian, and Mediterranean. The arm would be able to collect ingredients, use cookware and utensils, and even clean dishes. Customers could place orders either in person or via an app, and customize their requests, like no salt or allergic to peanuts. 20 humans will work with the robot, but given how much the robot plans to do, their exact role is unclear. That's it for Kid News. A big thank you to all our generous donors who help keep the only daily podcast of news just for kids possible. If you'd like to make a donation that's tax deductible through our fiscal sponsor, IAM, please go to our website, www.kidnews.org. Now, the Kid News Quiz. Why did Spain's top military commander resign? He jumped the line to get a COVID vaccine. Why is a law necessary to protect human artifacts on the moon?
because it's going to get crowded up there with several countries planning lunar launches in the near future. How long did a dog wait outside a hospital for her owner? Six days. Who or what will be preparing meals at a restaurant in Illinois? A robotic arm. In One for the Road, there's an important warning for kids about one of the common ways to stop the spread of the coronavirus, using hand sanitizer. It turns out there's been a big increase in the number of chemical injuries among those who have accidentally gotten some in their eyes. According to data from the French Poison Control Center, one likely explanation is that dispensers are often placed at waist level for adults, but that can be right at eye level for kids. Best advice from health experts? Offer soap and water when available, and when not, keep eyes away from dispensers and hands away from eyes after squirting. Before we go, we want to give a big Kid News shout out to some of our terrific teachers and their students. Mrs. Delizia at Dublin Elementary in White Lake, Michigan. Mrs. Conway at Major Edwards in West Boylston, Massachusetts. Miss Gavin, who says her fifth graders rock at Eastmont Elementary in Dayton, Ohio. And Mr. Frazier at Texas Leadership Charter Academy in Arlington, Texas. Thanks for listening, everyone. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.